Okay, welcome to part one uh, of this tutorial series. Um, in this part, I'm just going to be explaining the files that we're going to be using, um, and then we're going to get on with the code. Uh, basically, the same method that I always use. Oh, f same format. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, the file structure is basically the same one again as the one that I always use. So we've got the pages in this sort of root. Um, so this is the send email page, which is the form that you saw previously, which I've just got here. At the moment, though, it just ooh, okay. At the moment, uh, it just does nothing. Um, well, before it did nothing actually. I didn't bother with the confirm message because I'm just using this as a slightly bad example. Um, so yeah, you can always add that. Basically, the point of this tutorial is the function that we're going to be creating, not the page. Yeah. Anyway, this is a pretty odd thing to make, really. But anyway, um, moving on. So the pages go in the root, and then we have this core folder. In there, we have this init file, and then this ink folder. In this ink folder, we have all the files that we're going to be including um, that provide like functions, useful backend type stuff, and these will then be used by the pages. So um, this file is going to provide a single function that we are going to use to send a file as an attachment. Um, so yeah, so basically what we're going to do is create our own version of PHP's mail function that adds a parameter for the file, and it's just going to send the message to the given email address uh, and also attach the given file. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, so just this init file, I'll just quickly mention is uh, wait, quickly mention what it is. Um, it has these basically these two lines in, so it's the simplest one I think I've ever done. But what it normally does is like set up all of the system, so it'll start your session if you're using the session. Um, do anything that you need to do on all of the pages, like validate the page, validate the user's login, anything along those lines. Um, but just for this, it's including a single mail.inc.php file. Um, and that file is completely blank. I've removed the code for the function for obvious reasons. Um, and also the send email file is the page. Um, and this is just a simple HTML form. Um, it's got a text input for the user's name, a file input for their file, and a submit input for them to send the form. And then up here, we're going to process the uh, submission, the form data, and pass it on to the function we're going to create. So obviously the first thing we need to do, um, this is where we're going to start by the way, the first thing we need to do is check to see if the required data has been sent, i.e. if they've clicked that button. So if is set is what we're going to be using, and we're going to be checking for the post name uh, variable, just because this here corresponds to the name of the input, and that was name. This is the user's name. And then the same for the file. We're going to be checking for files, file, like so. And if um, these are set, we're going to do something. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is calling the mail file function, which we will now go to and define, go here and define even. So we're just going to use the old function keyword to define mail file. And this is just basically the same as the mail function, except it accepts a parameter which controls the file to be attached. Um, so the parameters we're going to be giving this function are um, to, which is the address we're sending it to, from the address we're sending from, subject, the subject, whoops, subject of the message that is, obviously, uh, the body, which is going to be like the body of the message, and the file, which is the most important one, and it just is the file. Oh dear, there we go. Uh, I'll just quickly comment what this does. So let's say sends the given message to the given email address attaching the given file. There we go. So now anyone looking at our code will sort of quickly know what this does, um, partly, partly based on the name and mostly based on this comment, which is a quickly one line script quick one line description. Spelt wrong as well. Um, feel free to point out spelling errors, I will ignore you. 
Um, so yeah, so now we just need to uh, pass in these parameters. So going back to our page, uh, going back to our page. Once we need that, we um, ah, what I'm saying. <laughs> once we know that the form has been submitted, we need to define some data that we're going to send into this um, function that we just define. We have just defined. We've just defined. There we go. Um, so the things we need to define are the file, and this is going to be an array. Um, it's basically going to be the same as this, but slightly renamed. So we're going to have file equals array. And the reason we're doing this is just because it's a nice way to contain all of the file information in one parameter. So in your function you could check each of these or you could check the file for the existence of file without having to pass loads of things to the function. Because remembering function arguments is hard enough. Um, the, the, the function we're creating probably has too many. Five is just about the limit I'd say. But it's obviously up to you. You can have as many as you like. Uh, mm, I think you can. I guess there's no limit. Um, so what we're going to do here is define four keys, the name, the oops, the name, the size, the type, and the path. Oh, damn it! That's what you get for looking at my other screen, isn't it? Um, so, name, size, type, and path. And these are going to be the file name, which is stored in files, file name except that should be one of those. The uh, size, which is stored in files, file, size, same so far. Uh, the type, which is files, file, type, and, oh, oh, and the uh, path, which is going to be the path to the data, the file containing all the data, which is files, file, files, file, files, file, um, temp name, which is not the same. Um, so the reason I'm doing it like this, instead of just passing in this and using it like with these keys, is that um, this function should be able to be used in as many situations as possible. So you may have another situation where you want to email a user of your site something that's already on the server. And for that you would pass in a different array, which would be the file name, the type, the, uh, the size and the type, and the path. And obviously that wouldn't be from a file upload. So um, the temp name key would be a bit misleading, for one. And also you'd have to sort of create this array and then pass it in. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it with this um, well, I'm defining a new array uh, and not just passing that in directly uh, because that, that's it the email the mail wait yeah the mail file function uh, should not be limited to um, file uploads that's it in basically one sentence okay so the other thing we need to define is the body so I'm going to define a new variable called body and this is going to be equal to a here doc or now doc, here doc, doesn't matter, either. Uh, and this is the syntax for that. Basically, PHP will start a string where you have these three thingies and a sort of key, I guess, and it will end it where you have that same key at the start of a line. Annoyingly, you can't indent this. You can see that my highlighter editor thingy has um, removed, it's treated all this as a string. And this will give you a syntax error. Um, you get that, that's that. That thing is also optional, but I like to have it. Um, so the body we're going to be defining is just the sort of the text, you know, that will appear in the message. So this is just we're just going to send the file details because this is uh, just something that we have, and just to demonstrate that you can basically. So the name, the oops, <laughs> size and the type is what we're going to be sending. And this is just going to be the variables that we just defined, so file name file uh, size except we're going to put matching curly brackets the file 
type, like so. Uh, just a quick note on the use of type here. Uh, this is basically supplied by the user's browser. Uh, so if you're going to be validating the file at all, which you probably should do, I'm not in this, but you probably should, like, if you've got like a send me an image form, you should make sure it's an image. Um, uh, you can't trust this, basically, because it can be very easily faked or changed. Set, I guess. Basically, the, the user can give it any value they like. Um, so the reason we are using it here is because we're using it for sort of information purposes purposes only just so we can have the right type appear in the message and also the like our browser knows what type the file is um, there's no security involved in this it's just literally send me any file uh, because with emails it's, there's very little you can do other than send them a virus which you can do with pretty much any file anyway uh, and if someone sends you funny picture.exe and you open it you are an idiot um, sorry if that offends anyone but if it does then you are an idiot um, right hopefully nobody will complain about that um, they better not they won't no um, just talking out loud because I'm talking out loud thinking out loud uh, right moving on to what I'm getting on to now we have the file and the body defined we can pass these in to our mail file function so that's the thing we're going to do after this slightly awkward here doc thing. Um, the reason I use this is just because I don't really like having new lines inside a string. You could do this as well, uh, and that allows you to indent it, but it looks a bit weird. So, yeah, that's why I didn't do that. And also, it's sort of a nice opportunity to, opportunity to introduce the point of using this thing. Anyway, so now we're going to call the mail file function that we've defined. Uh, and we're going to send in the email address as just in a string and this is test1 blah blah blah, you've seen this before and the from which is going to be um, file form obviously in a string not with a comment same email address test1 uh, the reason we use the same email address is because it comes basically from our server so that's why um, subject a file and the body by what? I don't know how that happened the body and the file so that's that basically this file complete obviously adding a um, success message would be pretty sensible uh, and you could do that just by checking for these again down here obviously uh, but I'm not going to be bothering to do that mostly because I'm quite lazy but also because the this is just this is pointless basically the actual point of this tutorial is going to be in the next part um, which is defining well coding this function so as I just hinted I'm going to be ending this here uh, because it's quite a nice place to stop so if there are any questions feel free to ask uh, best place to ask about this kind of thing would be the forum, my forum. There is a link, not in the description of this video, but on my channel page. And also it's just on my site, so go to the website. Um, feel free not to, just it's easier to if you ask questions there. Uh, trying to type code in YouTube comments is fairly impossible, so that's why I'm suggesting that. So yeah, thanks for watching and come back for part one where we will define or finish off or create start whatever the function this mail file function okay so join me in part one two yes one two no two two is two